Ever pondered if a cat could simultaneously exist in the states of life and death? Welcome to my enthralling domain of quantum physics where particles can inhabit multiple places at once, courtesy of a phenomenon I like to call superposition. Picture the fabled Schrodinger's cat, both alive and deceased until someone sees it, the perfect demonstration of this staggering concept, and if that doesn't make your head real, we're about to venture further. Now, let's examine this idea in more depth from my perspective as Wigner's friend. Picture this, a scientist named Wigner have a close friend locked in a lab with a fascinating quantum experiment. This is where my tale begins. Within the walls of this lab, my friend is engrossed in a quantum experiment. As you might already be aware, quantum experiments are all about superposition, the peculiar condition where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Now, upon observing the result, my friend collapses this superposition. He witnesses a concrete outcome. Meanwhile, outside the confines of the laboratory, I remain oblivious to his observation. From my perspective, both my friend and the experiment are still in a superposition of all potential outcomes. It's as though they're both engaging in a mysterious dance choreographed by quantum uncertainty, completely oblivious to the reality that has been observed within the lab. And this is where the quantum puzzle arises. So, is the result determined when my friend observes it or when I do, or could it be both? Fasten your seatbelts, everyone, as we plunge deeper into this quantum enigma in the next scene. Here lies the paradox that lies at the core of my theory, Wigner's friend. The implications of my thought experiment are truly mind-boggling. They propose that reality, what we perceive as the absolute truth, might not be so absolute after all. It seems to be subjective, dependent on the observer. Allow me to break it down for you. In the realm of quantum physics, the act of observing can change the state of what's being observed. This is the famous principle of quantum superposition. Now, according to my theory, I, Wigner, perceive my friend in a superposition of states, both having observed and not observed the particle. My friend, however, is certain that he has observed the particle. So who's correct? The answer, surprisingly, might be both of us. Here, the notion of objective reality receives a reality check. If two observers can have valid yet contradictory observations, is our reality truly objective, or is it merely a subjective experience? Intriguingly, recent experiments have lifted my thought experiment from theory to reality. And the results? They seem to confirm my predictions. These experiments propose that, indeed, reality could be subjective, based on the observer. So, what this all mean in the end? Is reality merely a construct of our observations? Is the universe playing a colossal game of Schrodinger's cat with us? In the quantum world, it seems reality might be in the eye of the beholder. So, where does this journey lead, you may ask? My thought experiment, Wigner's friend, has taken us on a captivating expedition into the paradoxical kingdom of quantum physics. It has demonstrated that reality could indeed vary from one observer to another, challenging our convenient, everyday interpretation of the world. The enigma it presents keeps me awake at nights contemplating its implications. So, next time you're unraveling the mysteries of the universe, remember my experiment, Wigner's friend, and ponder, is reality truly as it appears or is it just filled with quantum strangeness? Wanna be friends? Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more such content.